Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here. Finally, the WinLater version 11 has officially launched, and this is a very major update from the previously WinLater 10.0. Now, before getting started, I'd actually like to show you guys my Android device. This is not the Realme GT7 Pro. This is actually the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra with the Snapdragon 8 Elite processor. Moving forward, all the emulation videos you guys will be seeing on this specific Android device. I actually exchanged it for the GT7 Pro, and this is the 12 GB RAM variant. Anyways, the version 11.0 beta of later was released just 16 hours ago you guys can see added wine 10.10 added support for multiple controllers added controller vibration light and dark themes for apps improved ui improved direct input as well as x input improved steam compatibility improved vortex added new desktop wallpapers display of portuguese slash russian language shortcuts fixed display of layered windows improved keyboard for latin characters now what i am most curious is improved steam compatibility as well as improved vortex now i have already added the winlater 11.0 on my Android device so let's launch it tap on the Allah button and there we go we are all set to start using this emulator on our mobile device now if you guys know then game of emulator gives us the best team compatibility ever seen before with the help of steam works and so on so in my upcoming video I'll be testing out steam and some steam PC games inside the win later 11 so make sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification in terms of preferred input API you can set it to auto but if you want X input only which is going to be your controllers wired or wireless you can select it and you can also select player 1, player 2 controller. So multi-controller support is now present in WinLater official. This was a feature which was only available in WinLater C mode. In terms of Box64 version, we have 0.3.6 but we can also add the latest 0.3.7. Preset will set it to performance, duplicate it and set the safe flags level to 0. Once that has been done, tap on the enter button. And yeah, this is the brand new dark theme that you get. But if you choose the light theme, it will be like the previous WinLater that we used. I'll go with the dark theme for today's video. We'll tap on the plus button and create ourselves a brand new container. You guys can see we get an option known as personalize. So here we can personalize our own display aspect resolution to enable full screen layout. So here in Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, you guys can see the display resolution that I'm currently using 2340 by 1080. So I can simply go back to win later and create my own personalized screen size, which is best suited for my Android device. In terms of graphics driver, you still get three options. Unlike other win later mods where you only get Vortex here you get Vortex, Turnip as well as Virgil. You don't get the wrapper graphics driver support though. And in terms of Vulkan version, we have 1.3 for Vortex, nothing much here. In Turnip for Snapdragon processor Android devices below 8 Gen 3, you can use the Turnip 25.1.0 or you can also add the older versions. Let's enable show FPS in terms of DX wrapper, you get all these options. We'll go with DXVK and in terms of DXVK, you can also add additional DXVK wrappers all the way up to 2.6.1 but you don't get any asynchronous versions here. For today's video, let's go with 2.6.1 DXVK, tap on the OK button. If your games do not launch with this DXVK, then make sure to downgrade it to 2.4.1. Once that's done, we'll go to Advanced section and here Windows version will set it to Windows 7 as we won't be trying out any latest PC games. Box64 preset will set it as the latest performance one and startup selection will be aggressive. Tick mark all the processor affinities and those are going to be our best settings. So here I'll just go ahead and add a drive by choosing the directory where I store my PC games. And once that has been done, I'll simply press the tick mark option. Uh, you don't really need to change anything other than that. I'll press the play button and what I'm also most looking forward to about is actually the X input control. So here I'll go back, I'll go to input controls and here we have virtual gamepad as well as FPS controls now. So in virtual gamepad you get this gamepad but previously it didn't work in any of the games that we tried. Well you guys saw the custom display resolution that I had selected, it had very small font etc because it was very high resolution. So we'll go with the default 960 by 544p resolution that we use on a day to day basis while testing out these emulators and now you can see the icon and text look much better. So I'll swipe back make sure to enable toggle full screen option and let's go to the directory where I have stored two of my PC games GTA 5 as well as GTA 4. The first game that we'll be trying out is obviously going to be GTA 5 but I have heard that recently GTA 5 has stopped working in WinLater 11. Well we'll see how true that is by testing out this game for ourselves. So here we go this is going to be GTA 5 test on the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra 12GB RAM variant. And here it says computer does not meet the minimum recommended video memory specification but we'll ignore it tap on the ok button and there we go our game is about to start. So basically I have heard that people are getting Rockstar Games launcher error messages so yeah social club error messages for the specific version of GTA 5 that you might be trying out in the latest version of 
win later android but don't worry i'll be back with a proper gameplay test video of gta 5 in win later 11 pretty soon but for today's video let's go with gta 4 instead because we certainly want to find out how well does the win later 11 work compared to the win later 10.0 so here i'll enable the virtual gamepad on screen touch controls hopefully they work this time and here we go GTA 4, our game has successfully started. So let's press the play button, go to options, graphics and decrease our graphics quality for best performance. So here we'll set everything to low graphics and VSync will turn it off. Afterwards apply the settings, tap the B button to go back and yeah I just realized that virtual gamepad is also working which is actually decent unlike previously where it was not working. Well after waiting for few seconds you guys can see our GTA 4 has successfully started. I'll press the A button for few times to skip the cutscene and here we go our game has begun at the top left corner you guys can see the FPS which I am getting while emulating GTA 4 on my Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra and I have to say this is not as good performance as win later C mode Ludashi that we tested out recently so here while playing GTA 4 you can see we are getting anywhere from 40 to 80 FPS depending on the scenarios and there are quite a lot of stuttering issues to be honest as far as I know win later Ludashi gives the best performance in, in any win later folk but this is not that bad at all this is definitely a playable experience as well just that there are so many stuttering issues that at this point I would prefer if this is how the game is running on Snapdragon 8 Elite I would go with Game Hub Emulator any day over the Win Later 11 because the Game Hub is way more optimized and I'll be definitely uploading a gameplay test video comparing the Win Later 11 along with the Game Hub Emulator version 5.1.0. Anyways that's going to be it for today's video. I can also notice some minor heating issues. My device is definitely getting warmer. So there are some thermal issues as well. But regardless in terms of performance Win Later 11 is not that amazing amazing but in terms of stability again not that amazing because I can notice thermal throttling and also stuttering issues but hey at least the game works so I'll be testing it out on my Mali GPU Android device as well as learn Android device in my next videos thanks for watching let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra I'll see you guys tomorrow goodbye